ye would have plucked out your own eyes, and have given them to me. Ephesians 3 17, 19, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, and length, and depth, and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Hebrews 1 13, but to which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Hebrews 10 10, 12, by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. Hebrews 2, 9, But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. Galatians 4, 14, 15, and my temptation which was in my flesh ye despised not, nor rejected, but received me as an angel of God, even as Christ Jesus. Where is then the blessedness ye spake of? For I bear you record, that, if it had been possible, ye would have plucked out your own eyes, and have given them to me. John 15, 13, 21, 24, Jesus said unto them, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin, but now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. John 12:30, 30, 31 Jesus answered and said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sakes. Now is the judgment of this world, now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Hebrews 1.14 Are they not all ministering spirits, sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Revelation 19.10 And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus, worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. John 10.37, Jesus answered them, If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. Jude 1.25, To the only wise God our Saviour, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen.